we have yet another example of Hollywood and politics working hand to hand, which just goes to show you why you can't avoid talking politics when you're talking entertainment. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, when you're talking entertainment, you are talking politics because they're so open and blatant about the fact that these entertainment properties are for the purpose of influencing society to a certain political leaning, that being left, that every time you're talking entertainment now, you're just talking about another piece of material of the Democratic Communist Party and its propagandist arm being Hollywood, pushing media to you know, try to win people over or maintain the people that they already have. And here's another example of it with Stacey Abrams, uh, some chick, some body positivity, black girl magic chick who's been in the news routinely. Well, she's made her appearance in Star Trek Discovery, and she's playing the president of United Earth. So, you know, Earth must be an absolute shithole with a crime rate that's probably risen a thousand percent since she's been in office. But yeah, I mean, again, this is what they do. Um, they put this stupid woman in this uh, position. And it just further highlights how much they've dumbed down Star Trek. You know, I don't talk about Star Trek that much, but I've seen other people who are fans of it and based on their reviews, and based on clips that I've seen, they have significantly dumbed down this show. I mean, they have people in their feelings all the time, crying, um, basically like a CW drama, you know, something like a Riverdale, but it's set in Star Trek, which is supposed to be far more cerebral and intellectual than that. But in the hands of these people, they can't do that. <laughs> All they can do is just emotional, over-emotional bullshit. Now, Stacey Abrams in politics, she's famous for pretending like uh, black people aren't allowed to vote in Georgia. She's also uh, partly responsible for Major League Baseball moving their All-Star game from Atlanta to Colorado, which cost so-called black businesses in Atlanta hundreds of millions of dollars. And quite frankly, I don't feel bad for them because those same black business owners and the customers of those businesses will still vote for a Stacey Abrams type. So as far as I'm concerned, they got what they deserve, but I highlight it just to show how much of a advocate she truly is for so-called black people when she screwed them out of you know hundreds of millions of dollars in business where it would it was moved to Colorado where you know there are far less so-called black businesses in Colorado and yeah I mean obviously her character is described with all of these you know great positive, you know, um, descriptions. She's a hero and, you know, just typical bullshit. I mean, <laughs> this is why I say no one should even care about even stealing this shit to watch because this is what you're going to get every single time. Stuff like this. I mean, they've completely dumbed down everything to push identity politics and just over emotional idiot characters. I mean, because there's a reflection of the libtards that are working on these projects. So again, I, you know what? I would look forward to a Trekkies documentary like Trekkies three, just to get to see how they portray Star Trek fans or those who are claiming to be Star Trek fans, how they would portray them today. 
because it would be interesting to compare one and two to three. I'm sure it would say a lot, but yeah, this is what they hope for, though. Stacey Abrams or any Democrat being the president of Earth. Because, quite frankly, that's their true goal. The United States Democrat Party being leaders of not just a nation, but of the world.